Hey this is David thank you for watching this video. Nokia has made a surprise comeback into the world of consumer tech devices with the launch of its new Android tablet, the Nokia N1. The N1 runs Android Lollipop version, which is the latest build of the OS and features a 7.9 inch screen. It will launch in China first in February. Design and screen Nokia N1 has a 7.9 inch IPS LCD display with 2048x1536 pixel resolution. It's a zero air gap display and also gets a layer of Gorilla Glass 3 layer. Nokia has gone for a unibody aluminium design that is available in natural aluminum or lava grey colors. Where design is concerned as The Verge points out this an iPad clone in every sense of the word. Just look at the video below, the buttons, the speakers at the bottom, even the camera is all very, very iPad-like. As far the iPad mini screen is concerned, it's the same as the Nokia N1 with a 2048x1536 resolution at 326 pixels per inch, PPI for a 7.9 inch screen. Apple has introduced an anti-reflective coating on the tablet to reduce reflection and glare by 56%. If you look at the N1S design, it might remind you of the older iPhone 3GS design, except that of course the screen is much, much bigger. The Nokia N1S screen is fully laminated. The tablet is also thinner than the iPad mini 3 and is only 6.9 mm thick, iPad mini 3 is 7.5 mm thick, and weight 318 grams, while the iPad mini 3 weighs 331 grams for the Wi-Fi only version. Specs, processor, and connectivity The Nokia N1 comes with a 64-bit Intel Atom Z3580 processor clocked at 2.3 GHz and coupled with 2 GB of RAM. It also includes PowerVRG6430 GPU. The N1 offers 3 2 GB onboard storage, but there is no micro SD card slot to expand it further. The connectivity options include dual channel 802.11a-b-g-n-ac Wi-Fi with MIMO, micro USB 2.0 and Bluetooth 4.0. As far as the iPad Mini 3 is concerned, this one has a 64-bit processor A7 processor with M7 Motion CO processor which isn't an improvement at all from the earlier version of the device. The iPad Mini 3 will come in three memory space options, 16GB, 64GB and 128GB, which is where it is better than Nokia N1 if you are looking for more space. iPad Mini 3 also has WiFi, 802.11a-b-g-n, dual channel, 2.4GHz and 5GHz, MIMO and Bluetooth 4.0. It also comes with a fingerprint scanner on the home screen, also called as the Touch ID by Apple. Camera, the Nokia N1 beats the Apple iPad Mini 3 here with an 8 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front camera for selfies. Considering that the iPad camera is 5 megapixel and only 1.2 megapixel on the front, the Nokia N1 is definitely well ahead. If you want a tablet to click pictures with, the Nokia N1 will be what a lot of people might consider due to the better resolution. OS, the iPad Mini 3 runs iOS 8 which comes with its own features like Health Kit app, better notifications, widgets, improved IM Sages, etc. As far as Nokia N1 is concerned it runs standard Android Lollipop. Nokia has added a layer of its own Z launcher to the tablet as well where users can simply scribble a letter to find their content quickly. With usage over time, the Z Launcher learns what applications are in use, and predicts and highlights the applications consumers might want to open. Price, the iPad Mini 3 doesn't come cheap. The 16 GB Wi-Fi only model starts at Rs 28,900 and goes up to Rs 42,900 for the 128 GB version. 
The Wi-Fi Plus cellular model starts at Rs 38,900 for 16 GB and goes up to Rs 52,900 for 128 GB. The Nokia N1 is currently priced at $249 without taxes which is around Rs 15,000. Even with taxes, the price could up to Rs 20,000. What the Nokia N1 doesn't have is 3G or LTE connectivity which is often a must for users. Conclusion, where specs and design are concerned Nokia N1 seems like a worthy competitor to the iPad Mini 3, at least on paper. But given the decline of the tablet market, this won't be an easy comeback for Nokia.